What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on One Rovers Vlogs. Hope you're doing well as always. See you on the title. I'm going to be going through the players that are out of contract in the summer. Who should stay? Who should leave? Make sure you get your suggestions in the comments as well. Let me know who you would keep and who you would let go. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. And yeah, let's get into it. So yeah, basically, I didn't realise that there were so many players at our contract. I knew there was quite a few, but 16 players in total out of contract in the summer. So I'm going to go through them, give my thoughts and opinions. Of course, I know it's all about opinions, so I know some of you might disagree. But if you do, let me know in the comments. Uh, it's all for discussion. So yeah, the first player that's out of contract is a goalkeeper, and that is Anzi Ecola, of course. The Finland international joined us uh, a few years ago now. A uh, very good keeper, but it's just the frustrating fact that he's been out injured a lot of the time. Uh, you know, he's missed a huge chunk of last season as well. Um, you know, such a good keeper. Of course, he only made uh, one appearance so far this season because um, of injury again, and that was the first game of the season. Uh, but for me, you know, his, his age, and I think he's he'd probably be on quite a bit of money. For me... I would I would let him go. I know it's so frustrating because I, I I love uh Anzi Yacola. I know so many people do as well, but for me I would I would get rid of him. Um it's unfortunate, but for me with all the injuries, I would just get get rid of him. You know, we know Belshaw's been doing quite well and you know we could get a few players with the wages uh Yacola's on for, so for me I would get rid. Next one is Kian Harry's uh one player that I didn't know that was out of contract and you know it's you know, for me, I would I would probably keep him. Um, he, he is a player that frustrates me quite a lot. He, he can be really good, like I've said a, a number of times, for a few games and then he'll go and make a mistake or get sent off, do something stupid. But for me, I know he's still young, still only 24 years of age. Um, and there, there is still time to improve. So for me, I'd probably keep him. I'd probably give him another year. Uh, but yeah, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments on all the players. Next one is Trevor Clark, uh, the left wing back who we signed in the summer on a one-year deal from Rotherham. Uh, and for me, I would keep him. Uh, I know first game of the season he got injured, was out for quite a while. Then he come back, got a red card against Colchester, then got injured again. But now he's been back for a few games, come on against Port Vale and changed the game, even though we did lose in the end, but he'd done really well when he come on. And of course... Uh, against Rochdale, I thought he was unbelievable. Um, you know, going forward, he's so good. So for me, I would definitely keep him still young as well and still time to grow. Uh, next one is Junior Brown, a player who we basically brought in as a backup left back. Uh, he's done pretty well, to be honest, when he's played. Done, done, you know, really well defensively. But again, um, he's getting on now, only a backup. Uh, injured, he's been out injured since the 1-0 uh, away win at Harrogate, so for me I would not renew his contract. Uh, next one is Glenn Whelan, if you'd have asked me it probably a few months ago I'd have said no, but the way he's been playing since then very consistent, just does the basics, clears up in front of the defence. Um, for me, I would probably give him a player-coach role. Um, you know, he's going to be 38 in a few weeks. Um, so for me, um, maybe if we're still in League 2, you could probably keep him as a player. Um, uh, but, you know, if we go up, which it may be, maybe not. But, yeah, I'd, I'd probably give him a, a player-coach role. Um, I think he, he's a really good leader. Um, you know, within the squad, you know, the most experienced in the squad, played at international level, played so many years in the Premier League for Stoke. So, yeah, I'd probably keep him as a player, player coach role. Next one is Paul Coots. Again, if you'd have asked me this a few months ago, I'd have said no way. Um, but again, um, like Whelan, um, didn't really have much, um, you know, time in pre-season, was out with COVID injury, uh, come back, got suspended, was out for another three games. Uh, but since then, I think he's done really well just again does the basics well is a really big leader in in the dressing room uh is a talker you know you can hear him talking during games and for me i would i would keep him i'd give him another year uh so yeah for me i'd keep him uh cameron hargreaves is another one uh for me i would get rid of him uh in the summer just hasn't really worked out uh you know he's been at rovers for quite a number of years now and just hasn't even when he's got his chances he hasn't really done amazing and you know I've, I've, I think he's he's just a bit weak um you know whether that's just my thoughts of course leave yours in the comments below yet yeah, but for me I would I would not renew his contract uh next one is Sam Nicholson uh we have to 
try and get something sorted. Um, but I've got a feeling he's he's going to go back to Scotland because he said when he joined uh, or before he joined that he he wanted to you know finish his career in Scotland. I know he's still pretty young, but. Um, Hopefully he can stay. I think he's a really good player. Done really well last season as well. Of course, he had that injury and had an injury this season. So it's been a bit stop-start. But, you know, overall, he's done really well. And for me, I, I want to see him stay. Next one, again, probably one of our uh, best players this season. Biggest impact, you know, especially when we got him on a free in the summer. Last day of the summer um, transfer deadline as well. And, and that is Anthony Evans. You know, he's been absolutely amazing. Um, 12 uh, goal contributions uh, and even when you watch him play you know he's, he's got quality good on the ball um, always wants to get on the ball as well and help create help score goals um, you know do anything good for the team so hopefully again we can get him sorted hopefully this January to try and sign a new contract or whether we go up whether he has a clause I don't know but we need him to stay that's for sure uh, next one is Alex Rodman. Again, it's a sort of thing uh, like Yakola. He's a really good player. Uh, but, you know, the last few years he's been getting injuries. Uh, he's been out for a while with a broken foot, I think it was. Um, but, yeah, for me, I would I would not renew. But he has been a great player for us, uh, to be honest. His, his work rate, he can play a few positions, scored vital goals as well during his time at the gas. And for me, I, I, would, I would not renew his contract, but he has been a very good player since we've got him, uh, Alex Rodman. Uh, next one is Zane Walker. Again, it's one, um, you know, a, a young player. Uh, for me, I would keep him, give him another contract, but he needs to get more of a chance. I thought he'd done well last season when he came into the team, but he hasn't really had a chance. He's been out on loan. Um, but for me, I, I would keep him. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if his contract doesn't get renewed. Maybe he just wants to, you know, for his age as well, still just wants to go and play first team football. Um, so, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, next one is Brett Pittman. Again, another one who only signed a one year deal in the summer. For me, I would uh, not renew. Uh, he's, to be fair, he's done well when he's played. You know, when you play to his strengths, he'll do well. When you, you know, when you put the ball in the box, he'll, he'll do well. But. Uh, for me, uh, yeah, I would, I would not renew. I think we could, we could get better. You know, someone younger uh, that has a bit more pace. Uh, so for me, I wouldn't renew his contract. Next one is Leon Clark, and I think all of us would say um, not to renew his contract. You know, getting on a bit, and of course, he he, he done really well on his on the, his first game he played. You know, come off the bench against Crawley. You know, played about half an hour, uh, scored the winner, a very good header. Uh, but of course, then has uh, been out since. Of course, he played about 15 minutes in the next game against Hartlepool. Then he's been out ever since. Uh, and, you know, with his age, um, you know, uh, I think uh, to not renew his contract. Next one is uh, youngster Kieran Phillips. Of course, he's been doing really well out on loan with uh, Swindon Supermarine. Uh, and, of course, I would renew his contract. Done very well. I think he deserves a chance next season. Um, definitely, no matter what, you know, no matter what league we're in, uh, he's done very well. And, yeah, definitely deserves another contract. Uh, and two left now. Uh, next one is Luca Tomlinson. It's Again, it's a bit of a weird one because he's done well for us pretty much every pre-season. I remember last year, he, you know, or, or was it in the summer, he played against Cardiff and it, he was unbelievable um, in pre-season. And then he never seems to get a chance, never involved in the squads. And then he's been out on loan now, um... Just his loan extended at Gloucester, but for me, I would give him a new contract. But he, we need to give him more of a chance um, in the league. So yeah, I would give him another deal. And the last but not least is Luca Hall. Um, is out of contract. Absolutely deserves a new contract. He's been very very good. Um, you know when he whenever he's come in, he's done well. First game of the season, he's done well away at Mansfield. And the games he has played, he hasn't played loads, but the games he has played, he's done very well. Can also has also played centre back as well against Rochdale, um, and I thought he'd done very well. And for me, um, absolutely got to give him a new contract. I think he's got a lot of lot of potential. Um, so yeah, for me, I would keep him. But yeah, that's the end of the video. As you can see, quite a few players are out of contract. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Up the gas.